eternal and everlasting God, we come before you tonight and we give you thanks and praise for these persons who dedicate their lives to the betterment of all the people. Father, we ask that you continue to bless each and every one of us here. Bless our city. Bless uh, all those who live here and work here and have our being here. We ask, Lord, that you bless the departments, all the persons who work in all the departments of our city. Be with each and every one of them. Keep them safe. And then, Father, we ask that every word that's said here tonight, every thought may be held captive to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And all be the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This we ask in His name. Because really, the only thing that I think is wrong with that website, it's old information. And that's got to come right out of whoever's in charge of it. That's got nothing to do with whoever's setting up a new website. Council signed a contract with um, Spinnaker to design the website, and they are doing it. Are they updating it? Not, no. That will be me. I'm trying to do the updates. So I haven't taken off some old information. And most of the information is, um, the new information is on there. I don't put the minutes on until they're approved. Uh, 
sometimes they don't get the agenda on. Okay, well, so. normally, I haven't looked at it this week or not, but normally that it, the, it's not updated. I mean, you can go on there almost any given time in minutes or a month old. So if we haven't spent that money, why are, why are we redesigning the website? I thought we'd already spent it. So that was a real issue, but... We're if, contracted to that money. We have... So, so we are obligated to have to spend the money. And there's no... It's just a redesign, but there's no maintenance? Is that well, they will help me in any kind of design. If I call and say, we'd like to have another page for this or that, they will be doing that as well as included in our price. But as far as updating the information, I will be doing that. Or somebody else in this office or current staff will have to pick up that, just like we have been. But it hasn't, it hasn't been updated. Well, we this do is it what, the best we can. It's okay, well, it's I'm not here to argue. I'm just, I'm just trying to what, what address are, the council. That what are we looking for in terms of, um, say, agendas up at least two days before the meeting well, kind of thing? You know, you have to look at a city's website as not just a tool for the citizens, but also as a tool to generate traffic into St. John. It's got to be a sales item, okay? And if all your stuff is a month old or two months old, I mean, really, I don't know why we still have ads for a swimming pool manager when it really doesn't mean anything. And it doesn't take that long to update websites. I'm suggesting if you don't have the time, I understand that, you know, because it's an additional responsibility. Get volunteers. There's a lot of people savvy in town. I would volunteer for free to keep it updated. But there's a lot of people that will do that. This is not like a super secure site where you're going to have information that can't be, you know, that's confidential on that website, but it just needs to be current. Um, I don't personally think it needs to be redesigned, but if that's already committed, that's already committed. It's not going to do any good to get redesigned if it's still old information. So that's all I was trying to get at is can we keep it current? Can we start getting it current now? And if you need additional help, can we get volunteers? Definitely take it under consideration and discuss it. Appreciate your input. That's all I have. Thanks. Are there any other citizens' comments? Chief Sanders? I just need to remove Rich Lamb. He's moved out of town. So it's me removing him from the fire department. I have a motion to remove Rich Lamb from the fire department. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries by the That's all I have. The only thing I have is the uh, the officer over at Stafford that we had this uh, request for permission to have fill in for some part time has now been placed on full time over there at Stafford. She's not going to be able to be available to do that. However, they have another officer over there that uh, was working two jobs. She was working at Salt Plant and Lines and also working full-time for them, who has now stepped away from full-time to part-time with them. And he approached me this weekend and uh, asked um, basically if, if, if he could kind of take her place. So I would just ask if you guys would entertain allowing him to do some part-time work instead of her. Does he have a name? Joshua Green. Is there any discussion with the council with regards to replacing the part-time temporary officer that we had with another one? He's a uh, the previous one was actually only certified part-time. He is a certified full-time officer. Um, I believe he's got probably somewhere between seven and ten years of experience. Do you want to do this for the same amount of money? Yes. Have we made it public to have asked for applications? No, we did not ask for applications. This was uh, how the first one came about. Um, it was basically kind of the same kind of way. She was working part-time over there and was trying to find a place to live here. And so she had discussed with me the opportunity, of, since she knew we were short, of, of doing that. And so that's why I asked you guys. We're talking temporary, building uh, along with all kinds of stuff on top of the program. So we don't need to advertise. We need to be promotional. 
I'll move to uh, allow Chief Saylor to offer Joshua Green part-time officer position here in St. John. On-call officer. Huh? On-call officer. On-call, my bad. On-call officer. Second. Do we have a motion to approve the wage? The previous one, the previous was $12 an hour. Thank you. Second. Do we have a So part of that would be training to the officers on the changes. They sign off that they know them, and then that way, you know, once they're made effective, they know that there's changes. And that about covers it. Anybody else have any issues with any of the uh, revisions or recommendations? Uh, one. The, the spending limit policy about a week of the five to the thousand. Then it was five hundred for quite a while. Where is that at? Fifty three point four. I don't remember. I'm just going off on memory. Yeah, right here. Okay, what what that is, what that's talking about, um, that's for statutory requirements. Um, it used to be for um, crimes of criminal damage to property, um, accidents, and things like that. What determined whether or not it was a felony is if the uh, damage to the property was over $500, it was a felony. They changed that to 1000 So this doesn't have anything, yeah, this isn't my spending limit. This is just a reference to that uh, particular policy that details okay. that kind of stuff. What about now 55.3, right below that? This says remove. <clears throat> it says remove Pol Polaroid, and then it says remove. I would have to run upstairs and, and get the actual. Have you read through the stun gun deal and all that other stuff to know? We, we did that with, uh, that one was actually already ran through by Don before he I left. I seen any. And Don, Don said that one was okay when he was here. The removed that you're speaking of, is that? Removed by the legislature, is that what you're about? No, it's, it's, like I said, I, I would have to run up and get the actual policy mail to see why. I forgot to note why I wanted to remove that particular section. More than likely because the majority of our policy manual is quite antiquated.
Mary, are you going to present us with the policy and this sheet that we yeah. have together? Yeah. It'll be in our packet. It can be. It's I'll appreciate it.
Is that what the state statute says? I don't know. I thought as long as we had tail lights, headlights, they could be seen from a thousand feet. That's not what the state statute says. Uh -huh. Can you get a copy of that? She's getting it. <coughs> We have the option to leave it as is, daytime driving with insurance. Yeah, he did say that most companies won't insure a golf cart for on the road, public roadways, but I did visit with Farm Bureau and Tammy says they will write it, but they need to, it needs to be specific to public roadways. Just your general homeowners doesn't cover that for the roadway. So we probably do need to specify that in our Okay, full water rate. I'll move to adopt ordinance 1021. 
different here than what you guys talked about was the $500. You want to set it at $500. I put not to exceed $500 because some of them will not reach $500. So you don't want to set it at $500. We can't legally charge them more than what this already specifies.